and Linda here. I am working on a project. Remember this adorable tea bag thing that Marianne from A Pocket Full of Vintage made me? Hi Marianne. I am making Halloween ones like this. See it opens like this and has the tea. Well here's the one I'm making. Still need to put this part on. But I have my Halloween paper. I have some little tags that I made and I used my Raisin Boat Halloween stamp. Again, this is a skull and crossbones and bat wings and toad warts and then some Halloween paper and then it unties and you open it up and then here it says po caution poison. This one says graveyard dust. This says toadstool vampire blood, bat skulls, and snake oils. <laughs> and those are um, ones that I, labels that I downloaded from Pinterest. are just a lot of fun. So then um, I'm going to put this here and so then I have, um, I just took one of these little flowers that came in a package like this. I think Monica sent me these. Hi Monica from a from Canada. I think these are from her dollar store and I just spray, I inked it with um, black soot and then I sprayed it with Lindy's and I'm just going to put that right here like this just to add a little bit. Oh and I hope, I don't know if Pocono Pam watches my videos but don't watch Pocono Pam because I put googly eyes. I love googly eyes. I think they are so much fun and I have a ton left from when I taught school. First graders love googly eyes. <laughs> so they're a lot of fun. And I'm just using this um, ex express uh, tape because it seems to be working really well. If I can get it off of here. And I'm just going to put that on. Oh, and I used some of my um, vintage black lace. I'm just going to put that on there and put this on here. I'm just really, really, really copying Mary, and I love the way she used a piece of lace here and some leaves, and then she had her sentiments. So it's just like made it so easy for me, Marianne. Thank you so much for this wonderful idea. And Marianne always encourages you to go out there and try. And this has been fun because I'm using up a lot of my old Halloween paper. So let me just go through how I did that. And again, this is going to come around like this and tie. And so these are going to be little thank you gifts for friends of mine. Okay, so what I did is I took a piece of cardstock that's 10 by 6, and then I scored it at 3, 3 and a half, 6 and a half, and 7. I cut um, designer paper. This is 2 and 3 quarters by 5 and 3 quarters, and I cut 6 of those. Then I took a piece of, or a little brad, and put it in here. Now these brads, I didn't have the right color. So I colored them with my Copic marker. I made them black. And then I'm just going to take, um, oh, then what I did is I took these little tags that I made. I just I think it was a one inch, no, one and a quarter inch and one inch punch. And these are the little stamps from my Raisin Boat set that I just got. And these are pieces of paper that were left from the designer paper and then I just put the little stamps on the other sides, toad wart, bat wings, and just the little skull and crossbones, can't talk. Then I just used my tiny attacher and attached it to some, um, you know, just white cord and put it up in the corner up there. And now I'm going to take and put the tea in. And the way I did that is I have six different teas. I have so many teas at home, and I never get through them all. So I thought, oh, this would be a great project. I just love tea, so it's just really fun to do this. So this is just a Lipton's green tea. And I just took some of that tape and put it on there. I'm going to line that up here. 
Then I'm just going to take one of these. And I know there's one that I really like for, for the red one. So this is Toadstool, so I'm going to put that on there. I just love these labels. I love the font on them. And I run, ran them off on, or copied them off on, um, portfolio paper. Not portfolio. What do we use? Resume paper. All right. So I don't, I think I need one of these vampire blood ones. So I'm going to cut this out and put that on top of the wild, ra wild raspberry hibiscus tea. So I'm going to put the raspberry tea here. And then I'm going to use the one that says vampire blood <laughs> on that. And the labels, I kind when I have pages on my Apple computer, and that is the document, I don't know, whatever program. And I can go in and make, you know, resize them so they're just about the right size to cover the tea bags. So I think I want poison and grape. So the next one's going to be this chai tea, and that one I'm going to put the snake oil one on it. Marianne, this was the best idea, and it is really, really easy. It wasn't hard at all. I could sit and make these all day long. <laughs> and I can just see how you can make them for almost every holiday. I mean, behind these you could even put little bags of candy instead of the tea. So now I have some Australian tea that I'm going to put here. This I got in a little box of tea. I bought the box of tea for the box. <laughs> Okay, then this one is chamomile tea, and this one's going to be poison. Chamomile is not my favorite. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes you buy those varieties, and then you get these, so. My sister likes chamomile. I should try it again. I really haven't tried it since I was very young. That looks cool with this silvery edge around it. And then this one says graveyard dust. And this one is going to have some Earl Grey right here. It kind of is fitting with graveyard dust. Don't you think? And that's as easy as it is. Okay, so then you close that. Then I need to put the cord on here. I have some of that cut. My cord's a little bit thicker here. I have some other cord I wanted to use. Um, this pretty cord from this pretty orange cord that Monica had sent me like a year ago. I think I'm gonna use that on this one. This one I just left the brad yellow because I thought that would be okay. So I'm just putting that through there. Then I'm gonna wrap it around. Wrap one around one way and the other one around the other way. I just love these, they're so much fun. Okay, so I can probably cut these off a little bit. Then I'm gonna take my lace, my pretty, pretty lace, and that's gonna go across here like this. I hope I even frame. Okay, so. And I'm gonna take my tape. And I'm just gonna run that across on an angle like that. that, on that, like that. Then take one of my pliers and put that on here. And 
I, you know, I use Lindy's on it. I can't really tell you which one. I know one was a purple, one was a green. I don't remember their names. And they're in the other room. And then this Happy Halloween is also from the Raisin Boat set. And then I'm going to put the two eyes on it just because <clears throat> I think the eyes make it <laughs> Halloween-y. Oh, come on, go. Ugh. Here we go. That's from this. All right, we got to put a little tiny bit of glue there. Okay, get the tweezers. You know, sometimes there's things that make things so much easier, but... There you have it. Another one done. Aren't they just adorable? I think they are so, so cute. And I'm having a great time making them. Thank you, Marianne. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.